In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Copilot within Microsoft Planner. Now, in order to do this, you need to, of course, have a Microsoft Copilot because it's five license, and you also need to have a Project Premium license device. So this needs to be Project uh, 1, 3, or 5. Once you've done that, you need to be using Planner within Microsoft Teams. So this will roll out eventually to Planner on the web, but for now, you need to be using Planner within Teams. So let's get started. So I'm going to head over to Planner within Teams and I'm going to create a new plan for executing our Microsoft Azure Expert MSP. So you do need to make sure you select a premium plan here. We're going to type in the name and we're going to click on create. And at this point, all that's going to happen is Planner is going to create the base level plan for me. And there's no content, there's no actions, there's no tasks and we're going to build those in a moment. So once the plan is assembled, we can open the plan. You'll see there's not very much in there, so I'm going to head over to Copilot. And I'm going to ask Copilot to essentially build me the plan for me. So we're going to type in our prompt. And we're going to click the Go button. Copilot turns away in the background. You'll see this is in preview at the moment, so there are a few things which I'll talk through which will evolve in time. Very quickly, Copilot builds that plan for me. Now, in fact, what it's actually done is not what I thought it would do. So it's created the plan, um, but more importantly, it's created the buckets associated with that plan. So it's left the, the default bucket there and it's created various different stages, so initiation, planning, execution, mentoring, clones, those, those kind of things. So that's a good start, but I'd actually like to have the steps involved as well. So I'm gonna head back into Copilot. I'm now gonna ask Copilot to build out the plan for me. You know, what are the steps I need to take? And I'm gonna ask it to put them in for me. Okay, so it successfully created the actions, but it's put them all into the default bucket, which is not really what I wanted to do. So I'm going to ask it to move them into the relevant section. So if you have a look through here, whilst the tasks are all pretty good, it's just created me them in a sequential list. So let's see if we can change that. So we're back into Copilot. We're asking Cobalt to organize these tasks based on the buckets that it's created. And here we go, let's see how it does with this. And there we go, that's pretty good. So I can now see that all my tasks have been moved into the appropriate bucket, starting with the initiation, planning etc so that's pretty good that's almost ready to go i can now start to assign those tasks thanks for watching please make sure you like and subscribe it really helps get these videos out to more people thank you